We're about to hop in and experience engineering as a group. We've got quite a few people. We're gonna split up into ships as we need to, but we're gonna try and experience engineering, see if we can come up with some strategies, figure out some stuff, get some research done, you know, just kind of get a feel for the gameplay and hopefully you can learn a little bit of what it's gonna offer along with us. One of us will need to be the manager and you'll sit here on this kiosk. Uh, how about I handle the top floor for this first one, you take the bottom and then for the next ones, we'll switch it up. Gladius, your goal is to disable us. Don't blow us up, just disable us. All right, let's go. Coolers are taking damage and uh, are needed some repair. Where are they? Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> back by the engines is what it looks like. We got one cooler down. I can't even like see the coolers themselves because I can't open the doors to them. Oh, hello, broken fuse. Rear starboard fuse needs some uh, love. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> it's being very difficult. Uh, we got the uh, no! fuse in the turret rooms out. No, he's getting... <laughs> Sorry? The Skippy is dead. Fuse in the turret rooms out. Starboard, er, port side turret room and the starboard side engine room. Starboard side engine room. Roger that. We are completely dead in space. Engineers, get to work. Fuse is up. <laughs> Fuse should be up. Yeah, and no, we still need the turret room. Tuss, what's going on over there? Are you okay? I dropped the fuse. I've got the fingers. fingers. just came back online. Uh, power plant is at zero health, and both power plants need repair. Okay, looking at mine right now. Just says cannot repair. I think once they're totally dead, they're... Uh, one of them, them just shot up to 80 health, the uh, starboard side. Okay, so I guess I yeah, am repairing. Some... Might be time to ditch for a new A2. Yeah, Do doors don't even work. Let's rip out all the fuses and go to another A2. All right, I think I want to give uh, engineering management a try on this one. Okay, so what we're looking at here, folks, is these green shapes are relays. Each of these relays have fuses. Some of them are large relays with three fuses. Some of them are smaller relays, uh, like this one with two fuses. It shows you the health. It shows you your components, shows you the health and the wear on those components, as well as the power they're receiving. And it also shows you your power supplies and the amount of power they are producing. As an engineer in a ship, if you are starting to overclock your ship, or power it in a way that makes it run differently than the stock amount, you would have to do the math on how much power you're producing, how many batteries you have, how many power supplies you have, your batteries up here that you can run off of if your power supply is not working. And you have to balance all of that out. They haven't put all of that into the game, but this is gonna get pretty deep and it's gonna allow people to really make the most of these bigger ships um, without hurting people who don't you know, do engineering stuff. That's okay, you don't have to do this stuff. You could just leave it to run as stock like it is. But as we continue to get further and further into this, we'll start to experiment more with how we can balance the power. All right, Gladius, as you guys open fire uh, and try to, don't try to hurt us too much, just, you know, limit it. Got some I'm damage to here. our power plant on the starboard side, down to 90% health. Right. Splash one. Both bomb launchers on the bottom floor are at zero health. It looks like actually the power plant's doing okay. They're both at 90% health, so you were able to heal those okay. to some extent. Um, the yeah. coolers on the other side of the hallway from them both need help. We lost, no, we lost a relay. Lost yeah, we've lost a relay on the bottom deck, right next to the elevator. Whoever was stuck in the armory, I'm trying to get the door open for you. All right, power supply on the starboard side's oh. taking damage, heavy damage. Looks like the back right power plant needs some help, as well as a fuse in the back next to it needs a replacement. Also going to need some help on the oh back right. Oh my god. Sorry, that's the quantum drive in the back right that needs help. That's the very, very farthest back component. And then also the back right power plant. It's cool all the control you have over the ship from here, but it's still very... Uh, not super responsive. Okay, it's looking like we're gonna need to start over with another ship. I think them, these components are dead. Dead, dead. Oh, it looks like I can't use my repair so, tool. So, Walgrit was doing upstairs port. 
Basil is downstairs. I'm gonna try and take that turret out and not anything else on the ship. There's one relay down there. <laughs> yeah, like right by the ladder. It's about yeah. staying out of the range yeah. of that turret and it is freaking hard. I gotta get in closer. There we go. There we go. So with these ships, if you can get in closer and stick around them, you can outrun that turret. Oi! Otherwise, these turrets will wreck you. The port side cooler could do a bit of a top up. It's at 85% only. The upper side cooler is 90%, 9 everything's 9% above the cross board. <laughs> Ooh. We just got, took a ram. Uh, we have lost a fuse on a large relay on the port side heading towards the main cup area, main cup area. Power plant 77%, port side cooling is at 68%. Yeah, so I'm down to 32% O2. I guess we don't have air in the ship. <laughs> Try your helmet. Well, the, the the back door was blown open. Port side power plant's taking a beating, and port side cooler's taking a beating. Uh, uh. <laughs> and port side almost crashed again. into a structure. <laughs> Dark power plant. Relay port side. The first one when heading towards the cockpit the corridor is down to one fuse. Large large relay on the port side. Uh, we have lost a shield to the front, so it's the one uh -oh. we cannot repair. I'm out of hydrogen fuel. Alright, I've joined you guys on the A2 just to see what's going on here, because I'll have to get off soon and I want to watch this play out. Uh Oh, I think we don't have a fuse going to our missiles right now. Uh, no, I've turned the missiles oh, off. Yeah, never mind, I forgot those are... Those are bombs, not missiles. Yeah, turn them off. Uh, stop inside power plant. Oh god, port side, uh... You back fuse, we've lost completely. Uh, the front shield could do some repairs if someone gets to that. Shield generator? Yeah, one of them's down, we can't get to that one. The other one we should be able to get to, it's... Okay, it's back to 90%, 90%. Awesome. perfect. These guys are doing a good job of keeping everything repaired. Power's way out. While the UI doesn't reflect what's actually going on, they're, you know, they're not blown up yet. A2 finally out popped. Out yeah, they're good, good job, guys. Good job. Stay alive. Stay alive for a long time. But basically, it means if an A2 is fighting against two gladiuses, you need four people doing engineering. Yeah, there's got to be so much balance that's got to go into this, but I don't think they're going to... Yeah. I think they'll they'll lean more into the gameplay to make sure it doesn't require a ton of people rather than having it require a ton of people and reworking the whole game. I like where it's headed. I think that it needs some work and definitely needs to be streamlined more, but um, as far as expanding multi-group gameplay goes, it's pretty clear this can do it.